Gathered friends, listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. Hello everyone, it's Faeroth, and here on Imaginui Tales, we will be diving into the diverse characters of Bionicle. Today, we will be learning about Toa Lakan's mentor and the Turaga of Metronui, Duma. Duma was a Toa of Fire and the leader of his own Toa team, who eventually became the Turaga on the city island of Metronui. Though stubborn and not that sociable with Matoran, he was known to be wise and charitable. He was also selfless and willing to put his life at risk for the safety of Metronui and its inhabitants. As a Toa, Duma can create, manipulate, and absorb fire. He wore the Kanohi Kiril, the Great Mask of Regeneration, which allowed him to repair inorganic objects. This mask was turned into a noble mask when he became a Turaga, and his elemental powers were also weakened. As a Turaga, he carried a badge of office, and was sometimes able to wield a disc launcher. Duma started his life as a Tama Toran. He soon transformed into a Toa and led his own Toa team. For thousands of years, he performed duties as a Toa, fighting Rahi and Dark Hunters that threatened the world and protecting various islands and Matoran. At one point, he saved the life of a Tama Toran named Likan, and eventually was involved in Likan's transformation into a Toa. After fulfilling his destiny along with the other members of his Toa team, Duma transformed into a Turaga and was appointed the Turaga of Metronui. Later on, the Dark Hunters, who wanted control over Metronui, plotted to remove Duma from power. When the vicious Kanohi dragon wreaked havoc all over the island, Duma called upon the robot Vaki to stop the creature, but it was ineffective. When the Dark Hunters cornered him and attempted to offer protection for the Turaga, he refused and ordered them to leave. After being threatened, Duma was saved by Toa of Fire Likan and the rest of his team, the Toa Mangai. The Toa team defeated the Kanohi dragon, and Duma allowed the Toa to stay in Metronui. Soon after, Duma got word of a dead Tamatoran in Metronui, and sent Tamatoran Jala to investigate. The death was later found out to be the work of one of the Toa Mangai, Toa of Water Tuyet. After Tuyet was defeated and imprisoned for her crimes, Duma discussed with Lee Khan about her punishment, though the prisoner later disappeared. With the ongoing threat of the Dark Hunters, the Turaga continued to defend the city. After a failed attempt to kidnap him, the Dark Hunters officially declared war on Metronui. During the chaotic conflict, Duma stayed in the Colosseum along with guards to protect himself. He continued to stay there until Toa Likan and his reinforcements were able to finally defeat the Dark Hunters and drive them off the island. When ancient Sirahi came to the shores of Metronui, Duma agreed to have them captured and studied in secrecy in the archives. However, the Turaga later ended the study after the Rahi caused significant damage which almost killed Matoran in the process. Though he requested the removal of these Rahi, the Rahi quietly escaped the archives with the help of Onumatoran Mavra. Later, the district of Gaometri was attacked by Rahi called Protocairns, which destroyed most of the district, including the Great Temple. Duma was unsure of how to deal with these creatures, but the creatures soon died and their bodies fused together into a landmass. The Turaga later constructed a new great temple on the landmass. Months before the Great Cataclysm, Makuta Teradox came to Metronui, captured Duma, and placed him inside a Matoran sphere. The Makuta took on Duma's identity and hired the Dark Hunters to eliminate the remaining Toa Mangai while he enacted his master plan to put the Great Spirit into a deep sleep. Duma was found in a Matoran sphere by the newly transformed Toa Metru in the district of Po Metru, but he was left there by Toa due to a sudden ambush of Rahi called Lorak. After the Great Cataclysm destroyed much of the city, the Matoran sphere malfunctioned, which allowed the Turaga to wake from his sleep. Once the invading Vizorak Horde was defeated, the leader chose to stay in Metronui instead of going to the island of Matanui above, and used his mass to slowly rebuild the damaged city. He soon joined up with the mutated Rahaga and the legendary Rahi Kitongu to kick out any Vizorak still lingering in the ruins. When the Matoran of Matanui returned to Metronui, Duma looked at the stars above the city and discovered that the Great Spirit was slowly dying. 
He met with the other Turaga, the former Toa Metru, and the Toa Nuba to inform them of his findings. He also spoke to them about the legendary Mask of Life, which was the only mask that can save the Great Spirit. The Turaga led the Toa Nuba to Toa Canisters underneath Metronui and witnessed their departure from the city. After Duma refused to tell Jala and the other Matoran where the Toa Nuba had gone, the other Turaga were eventually pressured into revealing the truth. Duma became furious at them as a result. He also refused to send the Toa of Light, Takanuba, after the Toa Nuba, believing that his duty was to protect the city. However, the Toa joined up with Jala and the others in defiance to find the Toa Nuba. Duma and the other Turaga continued to stay in Metronui, waiting for the Toa Nuba to return. Eventually, the secretive Order of Matanui revealed themselves and trapped all the Turaga in the Colosseum while the Order occupied the city. Once the Toa Nuba returned from the core of the universe, Cardanui, Duma gathered the inhabitants of the city to the Colosseum and delivered a victory speech. However, the victory was short-lived as Makuta Teradax revealed himself to be in control of the entire universe. As Rakshi invaded Metronui, Duma and the others went to hide in the archives. There he found the shape-shifting Rahi Kraka, who agreed to help them navigate the tunnels to the shoreline where they could escape. It was not long until Duma and the other Turaga were captured and imprisoned once again in the Colosseum. The treacherous Pomatoran Akmu soon took on Duma's role as the new Turaga of Metronui. After the death of Makuta Teradax, Duma moved on to the newly reformed planet Aspherus Magna. If you'd like to see more tales, check out our channel and our videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is the way of the Bionicle.